Hey, we're Care Bears on Fire. I'm Izzy. I'm Sophie. You're watching Cambio. Let's get connected. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cambio Connect. It's Caduce, and we've got a big show later on. We're going to show you what happened with a whole weekend of premieres here in Los Angeles. But right now, I've got a big announcement. We have a new show that we are launching here on Cambio called On The Spot. It's your opportunity to be a part of a super group that Johnny Wright is putting together. This man was behind in sync. He was behind the Jonas Brothers, and now he's going to be behind possibly you being in a super group. So if you want to upload your audition tape here on Cambio, you have an opportunity to be a part of something really special. If I was auditioning, I'd probably go with the uh, One Republic option of apologize, but thankfully you will not be seeing that audition tape anytime soon. But we're looking forward to seeing yours, so definitely do that. And now let's dive into the show with a pop punk group by the name of Care Bears on Fire that are out of Brooklyn. So you know they're cool, right? Brooklyn's cool like that. Let's check them out. As we've kind of grown up, our name has kind of really come to mean even more for us. People often expect us to be just like teeny bopping, like princessy pop, like super polished. And really, we wanted to kind of flip that stereotype on its head by saying, like, you know, Care Bears, they're on fire. Like, you know, take something that people perceive to be really sweet and innocent and make it powerful. I feel like covers, we choose songs that we like. We like to kind yeah. of choose songs that we feel like we like the message or we like something about them, their energy, their feel. And then we can take them and make them our own. I think my ideal tour would I get be so like... excited to talk about it. Patty Smith. Cool. And cool. Just being in a Jett. room with Patty Smith, Patty Smith and enough. John Jett would be my like... Like we could probably talk to Patty for like 10 seconds and we'd be like, oh, you're like our hero, you're a goddess. <laughs> ah. But we also like kind of contemporary bands like, you know, Vivian Girls, the like, bands like that. Well, the EP is called Girls Like It Loud and it has three new originals and one cover and then another like bonus, bonus track cover, yeah. and then some videos. It's very cool. We're very, very excited about it. It's holiday season, it's football season. Around here in Hollywood, it seems like premiere season. We had a bunch of them over the weekend. Of course, Cambio was in the mix to cover it all. Show you all the beautiful people on the red carpet. Hey everyone, Lisa here, and we are having one crazy big weekend here. We have red carpets and celebrities everywhere, and we're taking you along for the ride. I didn't know it was a cartoon. I thought they wanted like somebody who had the body for the part. I just sat across from Dan Aykroyd in my recording sessions and laughed a lot. You want to hear my yogi? Hey, hey, hey. Boo boo. Hey, 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 boo boo. I'm smarter than the average bear. Hey, boo boo. This is Rob Cordy doing Yogi Bear. Hey, Yogi. <laughs> the real Yogi Bear, upon which the character was based. Because he's a bear. So, what is the whole message that you hope that kids and families get out of this movie? I think not to see Tron. <laughs> no, just kidding. I like the blue. They're just gonna love it, especially if you love the original one. If you could make another sequel to any 80s movie, what would it be? Well, they already made the Star Wars sequel. I'll say anything. I'd like to see how that relationship morphed and what that turned into. Okay, they already did Indiana Jones. But I'm gonna say Breakfast Club because I would love to see how they turned out. <sighs> I was gonna say The Goonies, but you can't remake The Goonies. I hope no one ever remakes The Goonies. When was Grease made? Fast Times at Ridgemont High. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what happened to Spicoli? What's he doing nowadays? <laughs> We are in the beautiful house in Bel Air. Uh, we're here for Toys and Tots. We brought some gifts to drop off, and uh, yeah, just here to support. You know, kids got to get get some fun in too. So we bought a whole bunch of stuff for them. Some marshmallow guns and slinkies and awesome. silly funny. Oh, they're like the best. I asked my nephew. I was like, "What do the kids want?" And he's ten. He's like, "You have to get them a Tonka truck." It's a nice thing to, to help give back for some some kids who are not so fortunate. And uh, Toys for Tots is a great way to do that. So I'm, I'm so happy to be teamed up with them and uh, to put this whole thing on. So uh, it's pretty amazing. Hey everyone, Maria Menounos here. We are at the Video Game Awards. The worlds are so elaborate in these games because really the sky's the limit. My favorite video games are like the Maddens. Really love Frogger. Halo 2 or Modern Warfare 2. I'm pretty good at FIFA, I'm not very good at anything else. I like a little retro action, I like Joust. Mario for sure because for NES, because that got me into home consoles and off and went. wraps it up for our big red carpet weekend. I'm exhausted, but I hope you had a blast because I know we did. So remember to stay connected right here on Cambio. 
Lots of movies coming out. I'm stoked about Tron, so I'm definitely going to see that. I want to know what you guys are looking forward to seeing and what movies you're checking for. In the comment section below, let me know. Tomorrow, we have Ernie D from Radio Disney, and he's going to give us an inside look at how he puts together his show, so definitely check for that. That is it for today. I'm Caduce, and now you're connected.